learning basic AutoCAD for 21st century learners tutorials. The following videos are open to anyone at any level. Maybe CAD enthusiasts, would be CAD operators, or even novice users. You may use this as your guide in discovering or exploring AutoCAD as software as tool in developing your CAD projects. Introduction to CAD and AutoCAD software, some of the basic draw commands, as well as modify commands are comprehensively discussed in the presentation. You can play and pause the videos to furtherly understand the lesson. And don't forget to perform the tasks relevant to the lessons which will be shown after every video tutorial. This would be supplementary activities in enhancing and mastering your skills. In lesson 2 of the tutorials, discuss about some of the following draw commands used in completing your AutoCAD works. These commands commonly used to create drawing or start drawing, especially constructing 2D drawings. It includes polyline, x-line or construction line, ray, circle, rectangle, and polyline commands. Creating connected sequence of segments that form single object or entity that polyline command is capable of doing off. Polyline command can create line segments, arc segments, or combination of the two. I put layer on the second drawing na kung saan I apply color yellow to easily differentiate the two drawings. In terms of measurement and shape, both were the same. But let us take a look on the distinct features of the illustrations. I will just select one side of this drawing. Left click the line or using crossing for easy selection. So that's it. Ngayon, puntahan ko naman ang isang object on the right side. I will also select one side of it. At ayan, so as you can see, sa drawing na ito, selected lahat ng mga sides o parte nito after clicking one side. The same drawings but different commands used. On the left drawing, gumamit ako ng line command while on the right, I use polyline or plane command. Gamit ang polyline or plane command, kaya natin gumawa ng contiguous line or linya na dugtong-dugtong forming single entity after selecting one part or segment of it. Unlike kung line command ang gagamitin natin, we can also create contiguous line but each segment is a single entity that can be edited separately. Kung paano gamitin ang line command in creating lines or drawing is just the same if you will be using the plane command. But the advantage of using this command na di kayang gawin ng line command ay ang paggawa ng arc segment that is connected to another arc segment or line segment that form single entity pagkatapos na magawa ito as shown in this example. If you will not use plane command, magagawa ito gamit ang dalawa o tatlong commands just to finish this simple drawing. Maari ring gamitin ang line command for this line, circle command for these two arcs, then later using trim command to delete the portions of circles. But you can use only single command to solve this problem gamit ang polyline or plane command tulad ng ginawa sa limbawang ito. Let's try solving this problem using plane command. To activate the command, pumuntaan ng home tab and under the draw panel, select this icon by left clicking it o pindutin lamang as shortcut keys, press PL letters sa ating keyboard, then hit enter or space bar. Pick the first point according to the command window. If the absolute values, the X and Y are given in the problem, then use it by pressing the values. Ngunit sa halimbawang ito, di naman binanggit kung saan ang specific location na magiging object natin. So pick anywhere at the drawing space to determine the first point. So ayan, dito ang magiging unang point ng ating drawing. Dito rin magsisimula ang drawing natin going up then continue solving it. Move the cursor going up, type the value which is 4.5 base sa halimbawa then press enter or space bar gaya ng paggamit ng line command. Proceed in solving other lines. Move the cursor going to the right, 
Make sure na dapat activated ang ating auto mode or to make our line straight. If not, press F8 to on the auto mode. Enter the value which is 6 from the corner to the center of the arc. Enter the values. Again, press space bar or enter key to enter the distance. Now, we need to create an arc. Before typing the value, pindutin muna ang arc in the options na sinasabi sa ating command window o maaaring i-type ang A as the shortcut key then press enter or spacebar key. Move the cursor kung saan papunta ang arc then press the value. According to the example, merong 1.5 diameter ang arc. So type 1.5 then enter it. So nakuha na natin ang unang arc. But this time, kailangan natin gumawa ng linya. Ibalik natin ang arc into line. In the option or command window, choose line or type the shortcut key L and press enter space bar. Continue solving the problem. Move the cursor according to the direction of the line, then type 4 as the distance, then enter it using enter or spacebar key. So this time, we have another arc gaya ng ginawa natin kanina. Pick arc sa options or typing the A key, then enter it. Position the arc by moving the cursor, then type the value using the diameter of the arc which is 1.5, then enter again. Press L as a shortcut key for line option para may balik sa paggawa ng line. Then continue solving. Next line having 4 as the distance, same on the upper line, so type the value 4, then enter it. Another arc, type A and proceed by typing the arc's diameter, then enter the value. Lastly, type L for line. Position the line by moving the cursor going to the direction of it. Type the value which is 6 or by moving the cursor going to the end point of the first line na ginawa natin. Press shift then hit the right button of the mouse to see the object snaps. Then click the end point and pick the line's end point. Press enter or space bar or escape key to end the command. So there we have it. We created this shape composed of straight lines and arcs that form single entity. Ganyan ang paggamit ng polyline or plane command in creating your drawing. You can explore more the use of other options in this command. So you can explore the use of this command to appreciate more of its advantages.